what is up guys in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to create a transparent cotton drape material using v for sketchup first i want to say a big thank you to everyone who has hit that subscribe button your support has been what's been taking me this far i'm two months into this and already we're at 200 subscribers i want to say a big thank you if you're watching this video for the first time please subscribe to this channel if you can want to continue learning more and also leave a like if this video is going to help you in the long run so let's get it okay here we are into the sketchup scene and i have just a simple room i just made and i put in this window and i open this up Although it's glass, the light is still going to come in, but just to make amends that the drape model I have here is moving, swaying from um, wind, so just open the window to make that balance. And then just a simple blue chair. Every material has been set for the glass, the uh, metal, the wood, the floors, everything. If you want to know how I set the materials, you can watch my best ways to apply materials video and click it up here in the tooltip. All right, let's get into it. So I have this drape model here. I'm going to be dropping a link to this model in the description. So if you need this model, just leave a like to the video. If you're a new time person to this channel, subscribe, and then you're going to get this model. It's a Google Drive link. All right, so first things first, I'm going to open up my asset editor. And today we're going to be making use of one of the assets, material assets that Vivi has under the materials tab. And it's called a two-sided material okay this basically as the name implies a two-sided material one side just like bringing two pieces of paper and then bringing them together and then forming one material okay so we're going to create this two-sided material and let's take a look at how it looks here okay you can see here there's nothing but this v-ray um, logo here and then we have front material and back material so the front material is the material to be used for the front side faces and the back material to be used for the back side faces as defined by their normals. And then translucency, it determines which side related to the camera is more visible in the rendering process. Okay, so meaning if we have like a black and a white together and we join them and you reduce the translucency, you're going to have something like grey in between. But if we bring it up, you have like black in front and white at the back. Okay. So, to create this cutting material, first off, let's see how this cutting looks when we hit the render button. I'm going to start an interactive render right now. Let me put in my settings. Now for speed, okay. And then interactivity, high. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, our interactive render just about started now. And as you can see, we can see nothing in the scene. Okay, we can see the seams of light just underneath the curtain about here we can see this spacing here if i lock the camera by clicking this lock camera orientation this light is basically what we can see by the light seeming through underneath the curtain right here and then the curtain is pretty opaque because it doesn't have that translucent look that we saw in the uh, tool tip that we saw earlier so what we're going to do we're going to go back to our scene and we're going to apply the two-sided material to this cutting with various parameters to make it look good okay first I'm going to stop this interactive render here I'm not going to clear the image I'm going to leave it like this and I move on to the assets editor and before I begin creating this I need to make the front and the back materials for this two-sided material so basically what I'm going to do I'm just going to come here materials generic let's make a generic material and I'm going to name this material curtain. Okay, I'll name this curtain. So, and I can come down to my two sided material. Let me rename this two sided curtain too. And in my front material, I can pick the curtain material I just created, which is this. And I have it here. So you can see it's grey, it's exactly taking whatever parameter we have here, here as a front material. So if we want to edit this material, we simply come here. And then you can see it's grey, but we want it to be white. So you simply drag this slider, the diffuse, to the white section. And if you go back to your two-sided, it's going to turn white. Cool. Okay. Now, it's a bit transparent, but we still need a back material for it to have that transparent feel front and back. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this cutting material 
to make two of it and we're going to I'll leave it at cutting two but let's just leave it at cutting two and go back to our two-sided cotton and we change our back material to cotton two all right so now we have this similar look and as it's loading up you can see it's a bit translucent we can see this white part and then we can see that V we saw earlier back before we made it a two-sided material so now we come down to this translucency now it also has a color to it now the darker it is the more opaque but the lighter it is the more translucent so simply put if I drag this slider down to almost black you can see it's more opaque we cannot see what is underneath this fabric anymore but if I drag this slider down to the left almost to the top it will be almost transparent now you can see now it looks grayish because it's almost like linen like silk like light silk that we know of, we know of so I'm just going to leave it around here here seems to be fine all right now there are two add a little more touches to my cotton material I'm going to just change this viewport here to fabric by clicking these three uh, dots over here and then I'll go down to reflection I just want a little reflection to my fabric so just like this a little not too much though and then dropping this to about 0.4 just a little reflection now I want my fabric I don't want it to be too white so I'm just going to drop it down to be grayish a bit okay this seems to be just fine now I'm not going to use that on my second cotton material because that because this my main cotton is going to be the front side of the material so it's basically going to take over this front part while the cotton too is going to take over the back part of the material so I simply go back to my scene and I move this up and I think I am ready to go I like what I see so I'm going to apply I'm going to apply this to this cotton material simply select the material select separate select components go back to my asset editor and here over on that two-sided cotton right click apply to selection boom you can see that and if you want to be sure simply open your material rollout and then using this sample paint you can see two-sided and we're sure it's the two-sided cotton that is applied here so what we're expecting to see is the ability for this to be translucent enough to allow light to fall into the room so i'm going to hit an interactive render to see how our parameters are doing thus far and then to prepare for the final render okay interactive render is beginning to start and you can see now the curtain material is allowing more light into the room you can clearly see this our blue chair forming you can clearly see the floor a little lot of life samples are here to take place but now i'm going to make a final render to see how this looks fully i'm going to stop this and to clear this image and then move over no other change needed except i'll need to increase the translucency to allow more light into the image and then come here and then create my final render changes to full hd okay noise limit leave my denoiser on and then i'm going to render this now as you can see my light catch is beginning to build and we can clearly see the room better we can see the curtain is a bit translucent which is what we want you can see the blue chair striking you can see the floor material now i'm going to wait for this to finish up i'm going to simply speed this up and show you guys the final product okay rendering done and this is what we have at the end so you can see the material now is very very translucent we can even see the um, top rails from the window and then the lights coming through basic sunlight and then pretty lit up the scene really well with the gray paint and the chair so this is the best way to create this cotton drape material and i hope you can replicate this on your designs and whatever visualizations you're going to do thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it if you hit a like if you enjoyed and you learned something from this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos by clicking on my logo over there the spinning circle and also check out more cool videos on the right hand side if you want to learn more on this channel 
also don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified anytime i drop a new video thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one